Hey there, my name is Dylan Schmidt and I'm an RMM admin at ProValTech. Today I want to go over how to install and set up the Active Directory plugin for ConnectWise Automate. Please click the like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner so you never have to miss out on another video. Let's get into it. So the first question you may ask is, why would you want the Active Directory plugin? The Active Directory plugin is a very handy tool to use, in, use within Automate. It utilizes the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, LDAP for short, and allows you to sync Active Directory users to automate contacts. Additionally, it allows you to import and export contact information, as well as perform various domain administration functions, like resetting user, users' passwords. So the first thing you'll want to do is download this plugin if you don't have it already. You can check that by going to System in the bottom left, Solutions, and then Plugin Manager. You'll see here, we already have this installed, but not enabled. So if you do not have this installed, you'll need to open up the Solution Center to download it. The Solution Center can take a little bit to, to pull up, to load up. So I already have it loaded here. And you'll see, I just searched for active down here in the search bar and you'll see Active Directory pop up here. You can click on that, add it to queue, and then download it. And once you're done with that, you can close the Solution Center and then come back to the plugin manager and they will be here in this disabled state. Once you have this here, you want to right click and enable them. You'll notice after the first one, it'll ask you to restart the database agent. You want to say no for the first time. And once you enable the second one, then you'll want to restart the database agent so you don't have to do it twice. Quick warning on restarting the database agent is that this will cancel any scripts that are currently running or queued to run. So it may be a good idea to do this towards the beginning or end of the day to minimize this disrupt disruption. So once you restart the database agent, you'll see these are both enabled. Then you may need to close and reopen your thick client for it to show up, but here we already had it set up. So now you'll see the Active Directory browser and Active Directory domains plugins are now showing up. Before you open these up, you'll wanna make sure that you have domain credentials set for the locations you are trying to set up. To do that, we'll want to double click on our client and go to passwords. Here you'll see we already have a few passwords set up, but if you didn't have a domain admin set up, you could right click, add entry, add a title, maybe just domain admin, add your username, password, repeat the password, and then save it. Once you have that password set at the correct client, you can then open up the Active Directory Domains plugin. And you'll see we have one row for our one client and one domain. So each there will be one row to show up for each domain controller you have in Automate. Or I should say each, each domain you have detected in Automate. Now for this one, you'll see the credentials right now are not selected. So what we can do is we can select a domain admin, let it reload. If we refresh, you see the cred status is now pending. Once we see this turn to success, that means we now have successful credentials entered for this domain. Once that's done, now we will have access to the Active Directory browser where we can select each domain and you'll see we now have access to the entire domain and if we were to go into users we could edit some information um, reset those passwords also if you look back in the active directory domains and double click on this domain you'll see we have options to filter through the groups as well as add these synced users over here see once we open this up all unsynced users would show up here we could align them with contacts that we have set up in automate and then sync them and then the synced users would show up here synced with the corresponding contacts within automate
Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. Let us know what else you would like to see, or if you have any questions, please leave your response in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.